Welcome to this short tutorial on how to reveal 3D objects under a light in Unity. We will be getting an effect like this in which this cube is only revealed under a specific light. So let's get started. I have an empty scene with just a camera and a directional light. In the assets folder, I have the scene named reveal. This shader which does the magic and one simple script. In the hierarchy, I am going to make a plane. Let's reset its transform. And now I'm going to create a new, new material for this plane. Let's name it ground. Change its color to a bit grayish black. Then assign it to the plane. Now I am going to make a simple cube object and reset its transform. Setting the position on Y axis. To 0 0.5 in the mesh render component in the lightning tab I am going to turn off its cast shadow option so we don't have an invisible cube casting shadows on the ground let's attach this script to the cube the script has two variables visible in the inspector material and a spotlight let's make a new material for the cube name it cube you have to change the shader of this material to the one which we have in our assets name revealing under light i'll be changing the color to a bit red for the cubes material now let's assign this material to the cube and um, it's vanished well it hasn't vanished it's just not rendering right now now assign the cube's material to the script and now we need the spotlight. So let's make one. Right click on the hierarchy, light and there we have a spotlight. Let's set its position above the cube so that it's casting the light on the cube from the above. Now assign the spotlight to the script and our cubes start rendering. Now if I move the spotlight right and left, you can see the only parts of the cubes becoming visible which comes under the light. Let's just clear out all the errors and don't worry about them. I'll explain it in the code. Opening the script in Visual Studio Code straight coming to line 4 we have a statement execute in edit mode which runs in the script in edit mode and we had errors of null references because variables were empty at start in the update function we are only setting some values of the material shader property according to the light position and direction mm. Let's just do something about those errors we had. I'll be putting an if statement, which will check if the variables are not null. Let's put these lines in the braces of the if statement, save it and go back to Unity. Let it compile. I'm gonna run this scene so well in play mode it behaves the same the link will be available in the description to download the shader and the script this was all for this video and I hope you guys find out this short tutorial useful there will be more short tutorials of different things in unity 
which will be uploaded in future so be sure to subscribe and you don't miss out any future content if you have any questions let me know in the comments thank you